Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Epinesher. I'm host is a queen. Hello, little peoples. How are you? Play as bow to me. I am the queen. Well, of the bell, it's not really here, but just saying. If you were a fae, I ruled you. Um, in the last episode of Reckoner, we did a couple things. Um, we met up with Templar Joriel. Uh, she seems to be the one that was uh, had a keen interest in us. Excuse me, I just had a sandwich. I'm a little, little hiccup here. Um, so let's see. Okay, so we delivered the letter um, to the inmate that's in Odessa prison. Um, I did spider season off screen beforehand. Shipping error. Um, we destroyed all the contrabands that were in the um, uh, the uh, 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 armory. <laughs> um, thank God I was successful in that. Um, community service. Um, we. What did we do? The leader, blah, 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 asked me to perform a number of tasks to improve life in the hospitalist quarters. Okay, so we did that. And then we also finished uh, New in Town. So we met up with our contact. Um, that was. Templar Joriel, she's the one that's been observing us. Um, she says that we have a, we're, it's complicated, but basically we can be kind of distracting um, in the city because we're pretty powerful and it can be a little intimidating. So she's just keeping an eye on us. I guess it's okay. We tried to run by her that Templar Octien is evil and she didn't believe me. <laughs> so, um, and we're going to go ahead and do Return to Sender real quick. Under Watch um, is going to be a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Um, this guy lost a letter. By the way, yes, my map looks different. <laughs> um, there's another map over here. This is Teeth of Naros. And then I have one over here in the corner as well. This one's in a completely different language. I have no idea what the fuck that one says. Um, so yeah, this is the downloadable content that I got. So we'll be doing that later though. I don't want to do these right now. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and do that letter thing in Majiggy. Um, where do I need to go for that? We need to go to Sun Camp. Okay, let's go and do that. We have to find a traveler, a Docklefar. She was the last person to have this letter. She said that uh, this letter had to be written up and delivered to somebody, and it never uh, got where it was supposed to be. So that just seems a little shady to me. Um, where do I need to go? Do I need to go up here? It seems like I do. Hello there, madam. I need to speak with you. Look at the sun. Nice outfit. Well, I seem to have attracted a guest. What can I help you with? Well, uh, Cordon Pazant wants his letter. Oh, that would be the squeaky little gnome from Odessa. Smelled like vellum and book paste, as I recall. I was hired to take the note from him. Sure as rain. A gnomish scholar named Arancourt hired me to take it and throw it in the quarry. That's where you can find that letter if you're looking. And I can even give you Arancourt's orders as proof. If you pay the right price. Excuse me. It's worth nothing to you. I suppose you're right. If you care so much about the little rag, I can part ways with it. Now don't say I didn't give you anything. Mm-hmm. Whatever, bitch. Where's the letter? It's in the quarry. Okay. I was paid to throw it down there by some gnome. It's all written in those orders I gave you. Every last detail. Good. Very interesting. So he wanted them to write a letter, and then he hired her to get it, and then he threw it away. I'm embarrassed. Um, <sighs> I told you we had to come back here for something, did I not? My memory is not the most amazing thing, but there are some things I remember. Are there Sinrics here again? Because I'm pretty sure I killed all of them, but every time I come- Yep. Okay, how's it going, guys? Yeah, stop doing whatever it is that you're doing and die, please. Uh, <laughs> you are panicking, um, which is uh, quite hilarious, I might add. Are you by here? Are you by yourself? What the fuck? You were literally here by yourself. I'm just like fucking blown away. Can I have this? No, fucking course not. Okay, here we go. So this is where our letter is. Hello there. Um, can I have? Um, there's a better pragma <laughs> pragmatism to our policy than others need admit. If you should find yourself a triumphant end of hostile of hostilities against your foes know that we have anticipated such an opportunity we seek an arms arm armistice i don't know a peace to bring prosperity to us both now that we are open and willing for all negotiation negotiation negotiations yep sounds about right to me 
Okay, so that had a lot of big fucking words in it. Don't even know why I tried to read it, because I totally butchered the shit out of it right now. <laughs> okay. So, let's go back to where we need to go. We got the leper. Um, and now he doesn't have to freak out anymore. So I'll meet you guys over by that dude, which is all the way back here, to give him the thing. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Another? Shut up! Okay, we are back in the dumbest politic- arm. <laughs> Can I speak to the one in charge, please? Oh. <laughs> that would be you, hello. I, I have the thing. Ah, you found the letter. But why would Scholar Erin Court want it to be sent and lost? She commissioned the letter in the first place. I... Uh, it is above my station to question her. There is a higher plan at work. Please, stranger. Find Aaron Court and learn what is happening. Where is he? She can be found in the aisles. She, probably sorry. in the Basilica Nostra. She needs to be confronted with the information we found regarding the letter. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough and died. Okay. You know you really should get a step stool for that thing. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go find this branch Aaron Court. Apparently, apparently it's a female. I'm sorry, I call her a he. My bad. Let's just see how feminine you really are when I go see you. If you have a wreck, I yeah. Okay, so let's go over there. We have to go to the the the, uh, the aisles. Yep, that's like the lower area of this whatever. So like, this guy again is just all kinds of weird. I he kind of freaks me out a little bit. Hello, flowers and cacti. How are you today? My name is Naya. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go where we need to go. You know, I wish they would have different, you know, thumbnails for the, the cutscenes for the same city. It's like, could you, could, did you take a different picture? Per maybe haps. Like, at least just one picture. You have a cape. No capes! <laughs> okay. How's it going? We have to go inside here. Basilica Nostra. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's interesting. Okay. Alright, excuse me! I'm... I'm looking for someone. It's it's some woman by the name of Adam Court. Hey, he has a step stool. See, mm. see, they exist. I need to speak to you, madam. Your dress is quite poofy. You, I have heard that someone was helping my subordinate, Corden. It seems he has lost a very, very important letter. While I applaud your diligence in tracking this to me, I'm sad to say that Corden's error is grievous. He will be punished for losing the letter. Yeah, yeah, you requested the letter, but why? That is a half-truth. I requested the letter of Corden, true, but it was not my idea. That came from a higher source. The Templars had reached a tentative quorum regarding our stance in the war, but a cautious few requested I draft this letter. A Templar must be obeyed. But what can be done when they give conflicting orders? So I had the letter written, and Corden lost it. So you're setting him up. I, damn it all. I knew that Dirty Traveler was not capable of performing even the simplest of tasks. I will not allow you the privilege of extorting me. I will resign my position and name Corden as my replacement. We shall see how he fares. I would be very careful if I were you. You are known to the Templars, and it was never their intention to treat you lightly. Mm-hmm. I see. Damn right. Damn right you see. Batch. What the fuck are you guys clapping at? Is I even doing anything? Do we what? Oh my god, there's things! <laughs> I have to loot the things! Alright, so I'm gonna loot the things. And then we have to go back to what's his nuts? Um, uh, Cordon, I guess that's his name. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'll see you guys in a minute when we go back to that guy. Is anybody in here? No, there is not. Awesome! Success! Oh dear god. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna loot this place and hopefully not get caught. And I will meet you guys over by the dude. So I'll see you in a little bit. Eyeball, go the fuck down. Okay, we're back. Hey, short stuff. I found out what happened. You, you won't believe this. I've been presented with the opportunity to join the Basilica Nostra. It must have been from your help. No shit. I never thought in my wildest years. I only hope to correct a mistake. It will take time to be approved. It is your reward with my thanks. No problem, bruh. Bad enough. Bad enough, and <laughs> Okay. Alright, that is done. 
Um, I still haven't. Okay, let's go ahead and do the underwatch one now. So now we have to confront Bruton, uh, which is out here. What the fuck? Could you not talk to me, sir? I have things. I have very important things. I'm late. I'm late for a very important thing. Okay. Let's do that. Where do I need to go now? Um, uh, over here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So let's go talk to you. Yeah, fuck you! Alright, I need to go talk to this dude. Hello, flowers and cacti. Once again, how are you? Is this a normal sized person? Hello? Hello? How are you? Um, you, you look... Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I need to come in here. This is my home. I need to come in here for something. Okie dokie. Wow, this place is fucking deserted. I have a very bad feeling about this. Um, don't mind me. Just can I, can I maybe loot things first before I talk to you? Apparently there's a chest that I missed. Pardon me. <laughs> it's like, don't worry about it. Wow, good God. This, there's, there's, there's so many boxes. So I'm starting to get sidetracked just from boxes. I can't, I can't right now. Um. The fuck is in here? Oh, Jesus! Loot chest, can I has? Thank you for the things. Okay, and get rid of you, and you, and you, and... Uh, God damn it, you, and you! Thank you! Okay, I have things to do. Why is there a box on that? Who put that there? Okay, I... Sorry, I'm just cleaning up the mess here. Um, okay, I need to speak with you, sir. Hello? Well, I've learned enough about your doings to know when I've been found out. Took you long enough. When I was told I'd be targeting a man who came back from the dead, I thought I heard wrong. But then I learned about the Well of Souls. As soon as Juriel's out of the way, my employers will make the well theirs. And all of the power that comes with it. Uh, I don't think so, half pint. Well, diplomacy has failed. Guess me and the boys get to play our trade a little early. I'll only rough you up a little bit. My employer wants you plenty alive for the vivisection. The what? What the fuck is the vivisection? Well, anyway, um, this guy is not that powerful, so don't even worry about it. And neither are his little bitch-ass friends. Um, so you really don't have much to worry about. They are short. Uh, but don't worry, they are not nimble bitches. Like, you should be at this point. Hello, henchman! How's it go? Where my name is Nile. I just want to get that in there before you die. You know, it's extremely important. Okay, so that's, that's, that's done. Okay, then. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything else in here for me. I'm gonna not do this. Um, because I will be in here for another hour. <laughs> so, let's just go ahead and leave then. Um, uh, my villa is so, like, deserted. There's, like, nobody in here. It's just a tad bit, uh, creepy. So that is done. Um, he tried to kill us and it didn't work out too well for him. I like how we call him Half Pint. That was, um... It was kind of awesome and necessary. <laughs> so, let's go to- I'm not sure what- Well, it seems you're not here for work, based on how the gnomes seem to be treating you. What can I do for you? Nothing. Be seeing you. <laughs> be seeing you, sir. Do you know the king of cops? <laughs> I'm gonna say that to everybody that sits like that now. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to talk to him. I apologize. Okay, let's go inside the Domus Politicus. Um, uh, yeah. We're gonna go inside. Now that that is done, it was very unsuccessful for him. Let's go talk to Templar Joriel. How are you? That, uh, cunt who is watching us because she's just a creeper like that. Um, hello, sir. Um, hello, tables. I started to think, of ooh, bread? Fuck yeah, bread and wine. That's what I'm talking about. Hey! Yo! You again. What is it you require of me? Do get to the point. I shall. Yet again, you need to stop act yet. We have already discussed this. Nothing short of a confession would convict him. As such, Templar Octien uh, will remain undisturbed in the Librarium. I was supposed to come here and see, girl. What am I supposed to do? You again. What is it you require? I, I can't I do get to the point. There's nothing I can I I seriously there's nothing I can do at this point. I, I already I did. Um Having killed him, I should let Joriel know. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do that, but you, nothing's coming up. Um, 
Templars? Anything? Does that do anything? Adessa? Does that do anything? Gnomes? Does that do anything? Nothing. I am so confused. I. Yeah, I, I'm seriously, I'm trying to talk to her and it's just not working. Hopefully this is not glitched out. Um, kind of freaking out a little bit here. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to try and fade this out because it's just not, this is not working whatsoever. I'm trying to talk to her and tell her that I killed Bruton and nothing is happening. So I'm just a tad bit worried. Um, I might do something else in the meantime because for some reason that's just not working. Um, these are the two uh, new quests that I have for the um, downloadable content that I got. The Teeth of Noros and The Legend of Dead Kill. Um, whatever the fuck that is. Level 10 plus required. Seriously. <laughs> well, I think I've made it past that. Um, I might have to jump right to this, to be honest with you, because I don't think I'm going to get past this whatsoever. Um, it's just, it seems to be all kinds of weird and glitched out. So let's just go back to that enemies in high places, the main quest, um, because that is actually connected um, with the one that we're currently doing. So we're going to go ahead and do that then. Um, I need to go to the aisles and find um, Octien so we can talk to him. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll meet you guys over by the little batch. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right. So the Lavarium is an area that we have not been just so you know. Um, this is where another one of our quests is. Uh, this is the uh, Traveler's Hierophant quest that we have going on right now. Um, I don't want to talk to Phasmer at the moment. Let's go ahead and take our next Tills collection. We have 7 of 10. Yes. Excellent. You can definitely loot these, um, a lot of these bookshelves, I believe, for things. If you want to do that, we have a side quest here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. According to the title, this is a chapter from the Memoirs of Gal Gal Galanum. <laughs> The gnomish mason who designed and oversaw construction of most of Odessa. There's an interesting note near the bottom of the page alluding to a treasure he hid somewhere in the city. Okay, so let's get it. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now, obviously. Um, what's over here? That'd be another Tills collection. Holy shit, we have eight of ten. This is unbelievable. Um, so we're almost done with that. That's kind of scary. Um, if you guys wanted to loot this area, go right ahead. Um, I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to jump right to what I need to do, which is back here. So, yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to see if there's anything important in here. Don't mind me. It is all good in the hood. Uh, sir, you're totally fine. I'm not going to try and kill you at all. Stand the fuck up, please. You, you're alive. An unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. Mm -hmm. What did you expect? For starters, I expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere. Supper for the carrion birds. Understand? You and I are alike. All we both want is to see this business reach its end. Yeah, well, I killed your thugs. Ha! The white palm are hardly thugs. Simply finding them cost me a small fortune when I expect to be reimbursed with this failure. Get me to venture you. Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. No. I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. Why are you hard to kill? A long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. Justice will be done! The wise and the foolish both die. Is that justice? With the will of souls, I can change that. I can choose who deserves life. To think that yous gave away such a gift to you. Well, we've seen how you wasted your life. Perhaps I'll give Intrinio your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. Hmm. I'm gonna kill you. You're certainly welcome to try. So, um, he is not easy. Okay, so you begin... Your battle with Templar Octian. Um, again, I'm telling you, this guy is not the easiest thing to kill. He is pretty damn powerful. 
Um, and he will be spawning, um, you know, like minions and shit to help him fight. I think now would be a good time to go ahead and take this since there's nothing important right now except for killing this guy and not theft. <laughs> so now we have to go out to the scaffolding. This is where your battle is going to begin with him. Hopefully that when it's all done, we can get this quest unglitched. Hello there! So, yeah, he is, um, he's not the easiest thing. So he's definitely, like I said, magic wielder. I am weak to magic. Um, if your character is weak to magic, this is gonna fucking suck for you because he is ridiculously powerful. Um, and he does have little helpers and stuff with him, which is awesome. So, I am not doing any damage to him right now. My weapons aren't amazing, but they're not bad at the same time. Let me go ahead and use some repair kits while I'm at it. Could definitely use that for my outfit as well. Here we go! Even Swagger Dagger's fixed. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna take some shots at you. I'm not doing any- well, now I'm finally doing some damage to him. Uh, but there's gonna be a barrier. So basically what's gonna happen is gonna be some assassins. You're gonna need to kill them. And then his barrier will come down. And then you can finally kill him. So you have to kill all of the assassins first. Excuse me, sir! If you could fall off the scaffolding, that would be fantastic. Um, and he's going to be attacking you while you're doing this. It's not going to be a uh, cake, I'm just saying. Um, and there's going to be treasure around here. So I, I don't know if you can actually collect the treasure while you're fighting him. It just It's one of those things that I, I don't know if you're able to. Can I? I can, so you can loot that. I don't think you can loot those though, which kind of sucks. Because, um, you know, when there's hostile enemies involved, you can't actually loot for stuff, which blows. Um, but what, you can, what can you do? So there's going to be some treasures around. Just, you know, keep an eye open for that. Um, see if you can find some and collect your stuff because uh, you're not coming back up here um, ever. Um, don't really worry about the ones on the side that are shooting arrows at you. You can't really do anything about them right now. Um, focus on Octian as much as you can. And then obviously when he gets over here um, with his uh, uh, barrier thingy, um, then you're going to have to kill all of his uh, his dudes. Which are going to come out of boxes. <laughs> which, uh, you guys were hiding in boxes. That's kind of fucking retarded. Okay. Palm Stalker. White Palm Stalker. That's quite... It's an interesting name. You're a stalker. I did not know this. Alright. If you could die. Thank you much. Ah, go ahead and panic, bitch. Panic! <laughs> it's quite hilarious. Um, die, bitch, die! Do you see any other treasures around here? I don't see any. I think we'll be okay. Um, die, da da die, da 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 Um, the reason why you can't get back to these areas is because the floor does fall apart. Um, so you won't be able to, um, go back. Just keep chasing this motherfucker. Keep chasing him. And just try and take him down as quickly as you can. Don't worry about anybody else. Just go after Octian. Um, and everything that he's been dealing with. Being a dick. Trying to steal former S. Hughes' stuff. Take credit for everything. Which he did not do any of it. And he does not own me! Rah! Okay, yep. <laughs> wow, how convenient how the floor just fucking fell like that. Oh no, you sapped my mana. How dare you. I always use that stuff. I'm just saying. Not what so fucking ever do I do that. Oh god, excuse me. Oh wow, someone with Fey Blades. I'll be damned. Is that the... Is that the original, like, weapon stuff? Oh, I leveled up. Holy shit. I leveled up halfway through the battle. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, those look like just the regular iron ones. That's interesting, to say the least. Alright. So I'm thinking Reckoning Mode is a good time right about now. Um, I cannot level up. It's like, just so you know, you can't level up right now. <laughs> Hilarity in its best. Alright, let's do this. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this. I'm just getting rid of shit at this point. <laughs> um, this. And, um, and, uh, that won't do anything, but let's use it anyway. And this. And this. And let's get rid of that. Alright, let's go! Come here, motherfucker. You are so dead! Oh my god, with the quickness! This is probably the coolest kill you will ever see! Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Watch him go flying through a window. A window. Like, I'm not fucking joking. I literally... Excuse me, sir! I can't... Can I... <laughs> Are they still considered enemies? Can I maybe... 
Can I maybe actually attack them? I don't, I don't, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't do anything. He's <laughs> still considered an enemy, but I can't attack him. Interesting. Okay, so we have to climb through the window um, that we knocked him through, which is hysterical. <laughs> let's go ahead and level up really quickly. Um, let's do, I'm going to do some more blacksmithing. This is going to be important. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And I'm just leveling up a whole bunch of sh bullshit because I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sounds about right. And, oh my god, only nine more points. And then we can be a Nightblade. So excited. <laughs> Jump through the window. <laughs> okay. So hopefully that other quest will be knocked out. I, I don't know how this works. I've never actually quit something. Hello! Well, if setting fire to the librarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. Damn right. So he's finished. Should he survive the wounds earned in battle? I should think so. To that effect, I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. Or perhaps save this mysterious well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, Gnome Society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. Cool. Um... Help with the war effort. I'm afraid that's one promise I cannot make. Our society demands neutrality with regard to the war. But I've been told that while you were on the scaffolds, Scholar Hughes managed to salvage Octien's text from the Librarium fire. He should arrive shortly. With any luck, he's discovered something that might be of use to you. Now, I must tend to Octien's affairs. That fucker should totally be dead. What? Um... You again. What is it you what happens you now? Leave me to deal with Octien. I believe Fomerus Hughes is on his way here with information more pertinent to you. She still has the arrow above her head. That is so annoying. <laughs> I think I just glitched another one if I'm not... Yeah, that seems to be a thing. Um, will this do anything? Um, you can... No, that's not going to do what shit. Okay, so yeah, that was a complete... Uh, another glitch that I have up here. Fantastic. I love it when I get glitches. It's just so convenient. Okay, so I apologize. Then we have two quests in here that we're not going to get rid of. <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to um, end the episode here. Let's just go ahead and talk to former Hughes really quick. Hello, buddy! It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Is there anything of worth? Oh, great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses. But only one item of true value. Octien's diary. <laughs> Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. What are we waiting for? I'm afraid the dark wood of Cluricon still hides our Tawatha enemies. But this young lady, Alien Shear, Says she has a solution for that. Of course she does. Reach Ventrinio, beware. He is certainly a genius, but complicated. He may try killing you the second time for good measure. His mind may be dangerous, but it holds the secret to entering Alabastra, and you must find it. You can rely on me. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar after all. Indeed. Okay, Unraveler, he defeated Octian, exposed his scheming, thereby proving that unmaking the threads of fate is often as important as measuring and spinning them. So we get a plus five experience bonus. Fuck to the yes, that's how I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to end the episode here, but if you guys like the episode, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. And in the description... <laughs> yes! <laughs> in the description bar. Um, I have the links to our Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and my personal Twitter too if you guys want to follow this me. Um, so I'll see business. you guys next oh, time. I was hoping per maybe haps, um, but she was persuasion and that's pretty much all the fucking way up at this point. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time for more Kingdoms of Emerald Reckoning. Um, we did a little bit of the main quest. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'd want to do next time. I'll probably just want to get rid of uh, the paper trail so it's just out of the way. And then um, we can do a couple more of these and get those out of the way as well. Um, this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the Scolia Arcana one. Let's just try and get some of this figured out. Um, delivered a summons ins instructing me to report to so-and-so in the Berthier Chapter House. Okay, so we have to talk to him, the Mystic Hammer. Um, and then the Mystic Hammer is what came from the, um, I can't remember what, if, what the fuck it's called. This when they stole the stuff from the vault. And then the Portland Lent, that's Phasmer, um, when he's in the Lavarium. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys next. <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? Did you come out of one of these windows? I, <laughs> I can't exactly get, uh, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time for my Kim's Army Reckoning. Um, let's go ahead and get, actually, I would get him in the background, but these windows. Oh, good lord, these windows. Yes, bitch. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.